Hey y'all, it's Dustin. So I have some, some cinnamon stick tea here that I made and I put some honey in it and just, just wanted to do a quick little video today. I have a Rachel Bernie in the background and that's what I wanted to show you guys today. I filmed the whole thing. I've been in a bit of a funk lately, so I wanted to do a, a ritual for self-healing and peace and serenity and self-love. So that's what this is for. So without further ado, Dustin, go ahead and play the ritual out. <laughs> So let's start off with all of the items that you'll need for the ritual. So the first thing you'll need is a blue candle. Blue candles are perfect for calmness, peace, serenity. And I just really love the color blue. I chose it for today because I'm trying to draw all of those things into my life. The next item you'll need is a pink candle, which is perfect for self-love, which is exactly what I'm trying to do in this ritual. Help myself love myself some more. <laughs> the next item you'll need is some oil. I'm using my moon oil, which there will be a link down below to show you guys the video to how to make it if you haven't seen that yet. And this will be rubbed on candles, spell paper, just to imbue them with the oil's energy. The next thing you'll need are some herbs. And the first herb you'll need is red rose petals, which is really great for that loving energy we're trying to bring to the ritual. The next herb you'll need is lavender, which to me is just very healing. And that is definitely an energy I'm trying to bring to this ritual. And the final herb you'll need is sweet basil, which also gives me very healing vibes. I don't know why, <laughs> but it does. The next thing you'll need is something to write your spell and or sigil on. I just got this pretty blue notepad that I have um, and I'll be writing my spell down on it. And obviously you'll need something to write with. I'm using a pen. And the final thing you'll need is a piece of parchment paper. I like to use this stuff because it burns very easily, which is what we'll be doing with our papers today. And you'll be transferring your spell or sigil onto this paper. That way you can use a piece of paper that burns better. So let's get on to the actual ritual, shall we? <laughs> the first thing we'll be doing is taking our moon oil and anointing both our blue and pink candles with it. The next thing we'll be doing is taking our pen and our paper and we'll be writing down our intention on it. And when I say writing down our intention, I mean writing down exactly what you want to come out of this spell. And you need to be super specific with this. So I'm basically writing down that I love myself more. I live in a calm, peaceful, serene home 
There's nothing but serenity being drawn into my life. I talk more kindly to myself. Things like that. That's what I'm doing. Once you're finished with that, you're going to want to take your parchment paper and transfer your spell or sigil, whichever you decided to do, and you're going to want to transfer it onto the parchment paper. I today will be using my brown paper just because I find that it burns much more easily than this yellow paper I have right here. Usually when I finish writing it up, I like to fold the paper as many times as I feel necessary. And I like to fold it towards myself when I'm bringing something into my life. And I like to fold it away from my body when I'm trying to let go of something or banish something or send something out of my life. Next, because I'm a dumbass and I did things out of order, I will be anointing my spell paper with my moon oil. Normally, I would put the herbs inside of my spell paper before anointing it all, but I just forgot to this time. I did it backwards, <laughs> so you're going to see it in reverse order. <laughs> now, when I anoint papers like this or anything really, I like to do it in a clockwise motion when I'm trying to draw something into my life. And I like to do it in a counterclockwise motion when I'm trying to send something out of my life or banish yada yada you, you know. <laughs> Since I did things the opposite way, we are now going to add these herbs that I have here in my hand into the sigil. So I will just be unfolding it, throwing in a couple pinches of each herb, and refolding it back up. We're going to start off with the red rose petals. And then we'll be throwing in a pinch or two of some lavender. And finally, we'll be throwing in about two pinches of sweet basil. And now my ass is trying to fold it up without making a mess. Um, make sure you don't overfill the packet. Otherwise, it'll be a bitch to fold up. <laughs> Just a friendly warning. <laughs> And it looks like we're good to go. <laughs> and finally, let's move on to the actual ritual portion. I always like to put my pink candles on the left side of my altar. I have no idea why. It's just a weird thing of mine. The left side has always felt more innocent to me. And I'll be putting the blue candle in the other spot.
First, we'll be lighting our candles, the pink and the blue. And then we'll be taking our sigil paper and lighting that mofo on fire. Now I want you guys to be very careful when you're using fire. I'm burning mine in a fireproof cauldron and it's on top of a wood table, so it's not gonna hurt anything. Sometimes because they're filled with herbs, it won't burn all the way through completely on the first time. Um, if that happens, just let it sit and cool down in your fireproof container and then you can relight it again later. And we will be letting these candles burn all the way down until they're completely gone. <laughs> if they burn down cleanly, that means your spell went beautifully well. And that's about all there is to it, my loves. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I don't know, I'm just gonna, I've just been in a little bit of a, a little bit of a funk lately and I needed to do something to try and help. And this stuff is so hot, I can't even sip on it yet. This stuff is so hot, um, but yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I love you guys so, so, so much. And we'll talk soon, okay? Okay. <laughs>